A very good morning students we are in our practical class lecture and in this class we will try to recall some basics in geological map as most of you had did the map practicals in your UG level and some of you had asked for a recalling class so this will be for those students so just for a recall what we'll do is before starting to solve a map we should just recall the basic definition as well as properties of few terms like contour slope strike and dip and if you don't remember that there is not an issue the link for that headings will be appearing on the i button or you also you can use the link in the description to just recall these four terms and after that what we will do is uh, we will just go for the three point problem then followed by we will just do a map only with fold then followed by fault then a map with unconformity and after finishing this thing what we will do is we will go for the combination of those structures so with this thing in our mind we will just start with our first map and uh, here is the very first map so in which they had given the trace of an outcrop actually it has been cutting the outcrop in three points and that is that is why it is called as three point problem so in this question what they had given is the lower trace of a grid bed is marked in the three points so this trace indicates the lower bed lower boundary of the uh, grid bed and uh, below this there is a green sandstone bed that is having a thickness of 20 meter followed by the green sandstone there is a red sandstone with a thickness of 25 meter then there is a yellow shale with a thickness of 25 meter followed by the last bed that is a mudstone so this is the overall stratigraphy of this place that they had given so what they are asked is we have to mark the formation so we have to trace uh, all the formations whatever appearing in the map and we have to determine the strike and dip and after determining strike and dip and tracing all the outcrops all over the map then we have to draw a section along AB so this is this A to B so we have to use a graph sheet to trace along the section that we have to do and the last question is they have to determine uh, at what depth the mudstone will be appearing at this point so here is a drill hole so if someone is drilling here we have to answer at what depth they will be re reaching the mudstone at this point so these are the questions they are asked for so we will try to solve the question the very first thing to do is as we know the static of the uh, stratigraphy of the area what we can do is we can prepare a section from the given stratigraphy so just trace it out we can we know that we are in this contact with this grid sandstone contact and they are given that um, below grid there is a green sandstone and the thickness of green sandstone is say 20 meter followed by a red sandstone which is of 25 meter then there is a yellow shale which is of 25 meter and the last bed is mudstone and as you know in a stratigraphic section we don't know the actual thickness of the bottom most and top most uh, formation as we don't know the boundary of at which it is ending right so we don't know this two thick formations thickness and this arrow indicates the oldest to the youngest right so this is the overall uh, section uh, sorry satellite sequence of this area then we will start drawing the strike line so as you know the properties of strike line the line line joining equal elevation will be the strike line and you can see here there is a point of uh, outcrop at 120 meter and there is other point of the same height so we can just simply draw a line that connects these two points which is having a same height we cannot go for this point as you know a single point we can draw so many lines and if there is only two points you can go for only one line so we will just start with this point and we will draw a line and this line will be the strike line for the grid by green sandstone bed okay and the value of the strike is 120 meter as it is mentioned here in the contour and as you know the contour is a line joining equal elevation on the surface so the value of the strike is 120 meter so this is the very first strike that we had drawn the next step is that we have to draw the second strike and there is an outcrop here which is crossing the elevation of say 110 meter so we can we have to draw a strike which is parallel to this strike and that strike should cut the outcrop and the contour at this point so for that we can use two set squares and that is how we are doing in our practical classes so we will keep one set square as a base and we will keep other set square on the parallel to the strike we will just move along the base set square and we will just draw a line so this is how we have to draw parallel lines in map 
okay and if we follow this method you can draw uh, may, uh, so many parallel strike lines without any problem right so this is the second strike and the value of this strike will be say 110 meter and as you know the strikes are parallel to each other and the interval will be same as there is no any fold or fault so you can draw n number of strikes all along the map with the same strike interval and the value will be decreasing if you move towards west so likewise you can draw here 110 meter strike is there or 90 meter strike is there then 8 followed by 80 you can also draw strikes in the up dip direction you have to raise the value it is 120 130 140 150 and 160 so these are the strike lines which is present here so the next step is that to complete uh, to mark the formation what we will do is you will just point out the values of uh, same strike and contour you can see here the strike value is say 110 meter here and the contour value is 110 meter here so you can just mark here a line then we can just connect this like this there are also other points which is here say here it is 120 meter strike there is also a 120 meter contour then 110 meter strike 110 meter contour followed by 190 and 80 we can also connect these lines so after uh, pointing these values what we have to do is we have to draw the outdrop with free hand as you know the outdrop should cross a contour only if there is a presence of same value of strike so we will be drawing like this so this is how the contour ends here as there is no any values here this outdrop will not cross any strike or contour just like that it should cross only when there is the same value of strike and contour meets same way we have to draw an outdrop from here just like this with your free hand we can just draw here and it just ends here okay so this is how the lower trace of grid by sandstone is marked so this is the very first step in the map so we had just did a one tracing of a one uh, contact of two formations the next step is that we have to move down as we are here that is in the grid to green sandstone contact we have to move down that is from green sandstone to red sandstone and for that we have to reduce uh, the height that is the thickness of the green sandstone is 20 meter right so we have to reduce the values that is if it is say 160 here then we have to reduce it to 140 as we are moving 20 meters down will be the strike value will be reduced to 20 meter likewise we can fill all the values here and in same way what we did earlier the same thing we have to do that is we have to mark the same value of strike as well as contour and we have to just connect all these lines so we will just try to do this you can see here there is a 120 strike and here is the 120 contour likewise here is a 110 strike and here is a 110 contour here is also there is a 110 contour likewise you can just fill the maps here is 100 and here is 90 it is 90 then 80 then 70 then 60 likewise you can just uh, mark all the contacts of uh, same strike and same contour after doing this what we can do is we can use a uh, pencil just connecting all the lines with your free hand remember uh, there will be a contact of a strike and contour when there is outcrop process at that point okay so we can use free hand to draw this thing so there will be trace of uh, say green sandstone and red sandstone which is marked here so this is the trace of green sandstone by red sandstone in this portion we can also mark this in this side also so this is also the same trace that connects the green sandstone and the red sandstone so this is how we have to mark the formation you can also do the same thing for the next formation that is for red sandstone by yellow shale for that you have to reduce the strike values by 25 meter so if you use the same strike you can just write it down as a 115 meter so you can use the same strike value and you can just point it out and you can just connect the formations so just try it yourself and if you still have any doubt just discuss with me in the class 
and you will just do the section drawing in the class itself and thank you